All right, so we are going to put our brand new 55 inch Samsung TV up on the mount inside the brick, but this house is a 1991. A lot of older houses have brick fireplaces and obviously chimneys. So I actually just called this company it is Santa Simplicity and they do not recommend and they do not warranty their mount if you put it into brick or mortar because they only safety rated it for both wood and concrete. So I'm gonna be putting it into all the mortar. These are real fat beads of mortar right here so I can actually get the lag bolts in without touching the brick. So we'll keep you updated. Check it out. Okay, so to make life easier, my wife is actually cutting out some cardboard so we know exactly about how tall and wide the TV is. It's a whole lot easier than actually putting the entire TV up there and then moving it all around. And of course, always remember your level. Okay, so we have the brackets both on the TV with the back bracket here. I also have it marked out right there on the template. We are going right in between the brick, just like we said on the mortar. So this is the only duct tape that our Kroger actually had. So that is our uh, very OSHA approved stand for the laser to make sure it's level. Of course, we're assuming that's close enough and hit it, honey. So I know you can't tell, but that is right on the top layer of the template. So two points for me. So now let's get it on the wall. Okay, so after I actually got my first one all the way drilled, I noticed something and what it is is deep behind this, actually in between the little chute and the actual chimney itself, there's a small little cavity. They're not connected, so to speak, but it actually, it didn't bottom out, but it just went a little hair too deep. But I did check, it's not in the chimney at all. And if you see right here, I went up and I checked everything. I'm not using anything fancy. This is just a masonry, uh, just a masonry craftsman drill. And quick tip, just in case you're doing this at home, just like I am, take some paper towels, wet the paper towels, because all of the mortar that's gonna be dripping down, this is an easy way to just get it cleaned up without you having to scrape everything down. So quick tip. Okay, so we're all done drilling the holes and you can see that the paper towels that have been wetted held up perfectly and that's basically all of the dust. I need to wipe down the brick a little bit, but one, two, three, four, five. And before we put these big giant lag bolts and the anchors in, so I actually went through here once again into that little cavity. So what we're gonna do is my wife is gonna take some concrete caulk and get all the way to the back of that with the little finger at the end of the tube before we get the big bolts in. All right, so you can see right here how well it works to put down those wet paper towels right after you do this. Okay, so what we did is we took some wet paper towels, we actually folded them a few times, and it's more of a dabbing effect when you get it, when you get it wet and just to get it off of this brick. It's already naturally drying. So now let's get the anchors in and don't forget to gently hammer them in. I'm using this hammer from Harbor Freight. It's nothing but fiberglass. So you can see right there how we have the cement caulk already in all of these holes. So you wanna do this definitely sooner rather than later because that sets probably in about 10 minutes. Okay, so now we have all five of the anchors in for the lag bolts. Remember to get your washer on top of these. And remember, we have that cement caulk, and you can't see it on that one. You can see it, actually in none of them probably. Okay, so remember, we don't have a lot of time. Once these went in, we filled these probably about four or five minutes ago. So now we're gonna get the bracket on, get the bolts in, tighten them real snug. Okay, so the bracket is all in. Remember, before we put these lag bolts in and right after the anchors, what we did is we squirted in that concrete caulk. So that concrete caulk hardens in about 30 minutes. Problem, almost none of these lined up for us. So what I had to do, and you can see some evidence of that right here, you see it right here. You can actually see it right there when I cut through a little bit. And definitely right here, what we had to do is some custom fabrication work on the fly, on the double. So a whole lot of angle grinding, a whole lot of drill, but 
you know, believe it or not, look at that. It is actually pretty darn close to level. So you know what? We're definitely going to take it. But it was really tough to put these bottom ones in right here. Especially, you can't really see it from the light, but it has a little bit of a lip right there at the end of that head. So these aren't just plain head lag bolts. So I had to use an old fashioned wrench to get those in. But for these top ones, I always love to use my wrist savers, what I call it. I also call this my power ratchet wrench. But all that it is, it's a 90 degree electric socket wrench. This is a wrist saver. It costs only about $85. It doesn't come with a battery, unfortunately, but always, always, always recommend this. It really comes out in a pinch and it will save your wrist. So you don't have to do this a million times with a socket wrench. Okay, we're almost done. So this is the actual bracket slash mount that is going to have the TV. It's gonna sit right here. So since we did some custom fabrication, on the actual bracket that goes into the brick. These four bolts and washers, there's two more down here. These are uh, rather tight going in. To actually get this in, I had to slam living potatoes out of it. So these are Torx T30 to actually tighten them in. I don't even have to do this because this is in there so tight, I'm just doing it for insurance purposes, basically. So. Whoever moves into this house after we sell it, congratulations, I did all of the really, really hard work for you. Okay, so this is completely up and everything is ready. We already test fit this TV. We had to raise it just a little bit, but we're not going to do anything tonight because we're letting all of the concrete caulk cure within all of the lag bolts and the anchors. So here's the brand new 55 inch Samsung TV that we're putting up. This is the template that was given from Santa Simplicity. And once again, everything was great and top notch with their products. But as you can see right here, I'm a little low here and I was definitely pretty low here. This one a bit low, that one was pretty good actually. And if you look right here, I was a bit high on that. So that's why I had to do some custom fabrication work to that bracket on the fly before the concrete caulk hardened, but I had to follow where the mortar was. So I had to go right in between so I didn't go straight into a brick and crack a brick. So nothing wrong with the Santa's product, we already test fitted, everything works fine. Just shift the TV a little bit once again, but everything worked, just remember off of your template, wherever you deviate from the exact slots, that's where you have to do your custom fabrication. So you don't have to do this on the fly just like I did. That is a lesson to keep in mind. Okay, so it's been probably about 13 hours since we actually put everything in. So everything's exactly as it should be. These bolts are still really tight. I just torque checked all of them. So we get plenty of time for the concrete caulk to cure in the little cavity behind these lag bolts here. So now all that we're gonna do is take the 55 inch TV and I'll tilt this up so you guys can see. Right here is the little notch and you can see right here, here's the little tip that you actually put it onto. All that you do is you put the TV on like this, you notch it in and there's a little screw. Then you have this to adjust your tilt for it and all there is a tiny little screw. That's actually this right here. There's a tiny little screw. And this just holds your adjustment, okay? See there's still a little bit of wiggle on it. That holds the adjustment right here at the bottom. So it's here on gravity and here because it's screwed in to the bracket on the TV. So let's get it on so we can watch Alabama versus Georgia in the national championship game. Okay, so we have these little covers here, and we can actually do is watch your head, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Okay, see, now she has a bit of light, as you can see. Now we have these covers that just snap onto the bracket so you don't see the bolts underneath. And it's a little tricky. You have to get the lip on the bottom of the cover in a little channel, and you just pop it on. 
Okay, she's got one side. Okay, here's the other one. Now she's gonna do the top. So let's take a look here. Okay. Let's put it inside here. There's a little uh, cavity I used to put it inside. So you gotta bend it a little bit just to fit it in. Okay, now it's in. Good job, dear. And now that everything's on, look what we can do. We can spin and move the TV as we want. Okay, so push it into the wall gently. You have to do it with both hands, obviously. Okay. And let's back up a little bit so you can get a full view of the scale of everything. That is a 55 inch Samsung TV. That's about the biggest that we could get there off some quick measurements. And as you can see, everything looks good. Let's get it wired up. Okay, sorry I didn't film it guys, but I have all the plastic off the TV now, all the corners, all the little stickers and everything like that. So now it is time to get the power cord in, which is all the way on that side of it. And check this out. Since we have this awesome, and it's kind of tough to do, I'll see if I can, meh. So since it came with kind of a short power cord, as you can see right here, we're gonna wrap all that up, make it look tidy in the future, but the red light is on right here. So let's go ahead and power it on. All right, it is right here. Look at that. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video on how to install a TV and TV mount into a brick and mortar fireplace. If you liked the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of me doing anything automotive, home improvement, technology, or product reviews, consider subscribing. This is Super Guy KY saying, be super today.